Hello and welcome to Sprite Guard Plays Melody's Escape. This is a neat little rhythm game with some light platforming elements that I picked up. It has pretty interesting... It's uh, procedurally generated, so it uses your music. And it does some things that I haven't seen very much in other procedurally generated music games that I really like and want to highlight. So one thing that I want to point out right away is that you can customize your appearance with stuff that comes from the workshop. So right now I have Hatsune Miku hair, and I have Faith from Mirror's Edge as my costume. And I can change that to other things, like I can have all of uh, Hatsune Miku's outfit. And I can use colorblind colors, or I can use default colors, or I can use... Uh, pink tinted colors and those change the colors that show up in the game and then we can see the credits see the people who worked on it and I'm really surprised I haven't heard that much about this game because I find it really enjoyable and I really love the art style it's one of my favorite games visually in quite a while it has different difficulty levels that mostly have to do with how it combines the different button combinations. So I'm going to go with medium because I'm not very good at rhythm games. This game is slow enough that I don't know it would hold that much challenge for people who are really into rhythm games, but I don't really know. So you can pick music from your music library. I'm going to be playing a Kevin MacLeod song because he lets people use music with very, very little restriction. And so he's actually one of the most used musicians in the world. He has thousands of credits because you don't have to pay him. You just have to give him credit. And so I'm going to be doing the song Go-Kart, which I quite like. The game will let you preview a song before you play it. And I'm just going to go into it and point out some of the things that I really like about this game beyond what I've said already about liking the style. So I really like the way that you interact with the world, and I really like that it doesn't change your music when you make a mistake. It just makes you lose combo and it makes you lose some interactables because I'm not very good at this game, so being able to still hear the music even when I'm making a lot of mistakes is something I really like. I also, I've had some procedurally gener generated music games that even will change the music when you don't make a mistake, when you do well. And I don't really like that because I feel like the music is a really big part of the appeal for these games. I also really like the way that this game responds to musical intensity. I find the uh, timing on the interactables can be a little bit tricky. Uh, it's not always exactly what I expect, but I think that's just something that takes getting used to. I'm not very good at rhythm games in general, so this is something that's taken me a while to learn. I really like the platforming style. You know, it's not a really sophisticated platformer, but I really like the kind of preset moves that you have. It feels a little bit like Bit Trip Runner in that way. Though, I think it's generally been substantially easier than Bit Trip Runner, and it doesn't reset you when you make a mistake. The scoring is basically combo-based. As you get perfect combos, your multiplier goes up, and then you get a rank out of five hearts. I feel like this game really captures a lot of what I like about escapism in game and games, and a lot of the stuff that I really like about the feeling of flow in platformers. There's just a lot to this game that I think is done really well, and so... That's why I've been surprised to not really hear that much about it. I would imagine if you're really good at rhythm games, you might not 
be really thrilled with this because it is quite a lot easier than a lot of the rhythm games that I've played. And so it may just be that, you know, people who are really into rhythm games have said, oh, well, that's too easy for me, and people who aren't into it have said, well, I'm not really into rhythm games. But as someone who's not really into rhythm games, I'm really glad I found one that's a bit more accessible. And as you can see, it's still pr presenting me with quite a lot of challenge, so it's not something that I can just roll right through. And I'm only playing on the second difficulty level, so there is certainly a good deal of challenge to be had here. And I feel like the procedural elements work quite well, everything has been on the beat. I've tried this with a few different kinds of music including ambient music, classical music, trance, drum and bass. The classical music is the only one that hasn't worked spectacularly. Everything else has really exceeded my expectations. So that is Melody's Escape. I really enjoy it. I really recommend you check it out. So thank you very much for watching, and have a great rest of your day.